Hi folks, on today's tutorial we're going to talk about Gantry 5 particles and atoms. An atom is a non-visible particle which provides scripting to your site. We're currently on the Gantry 5 website tutorial. And an atom is a piece of hidden code on your website that can manipulate something on the website. You won't see it. And there's three different types of particles but we're only going to be talking about atoms today. So we're going to apply an atom on our website and we'll show you what it does, just to give you an example. Now, if you look at a standard gantry website, as we scroll up and down, everything moves. And what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to lock this screen here. So when, which is the navigation bar, so when I scroll down, the navigation bar stays where it is and everything else scrolls. So that will be a hidden piece of code in the actual website that will control that navigation bar. And what we need to do is we need to put an atom into a Gantry 5 so it can do that. So what we need to do is, first of all, we have to get that piece of code. We have to get that atom. Now, there are websites out there that provide free atoms and atoms that you can buy. The website I'm going to get a free atom off is called Inspire Theme. Now, Inspire Theme do have YouTube videos, but unfortunately, there's no audio voiceover telling you what to do, which is very, very frustrating. But if you can grin and bear it and watch what they're doing, then it'll be a benefit. So what we want is this free fixed header atom. We want to download that. So we click on the download button and there's a file there called fixed header atom zip. Inside that zip file, there's two files of code that will help you to manipulate your fixed header, which is the navigation. Now it could be other elements on your template page. For this example, we're going to use the navigation bar. So when you download this zip file and unzip it, there'll be two files in there. And them two files need to be uploaded into your Gantry template. So if we go over to the back end of Gantry, and we go to the your file manager, we'll go into templates, G5 hydrogen, and we go into custom. Now, the, if there's a if there's a folder in there called particles, that's great. If there's no folder in there called particles, please create the folder called particles because that's where these two files are going to be. So you click on particles, and you FTP or upload the two files that you've just unzipped, and the two files should be fixed header HTML TWIG and fixed header YAML. They're the two files and they need to be in that location. If they're not in that location, then the Gantry 5 uh, template will not find the actual two files. So assuming you've done that, then what we need to do is we can just pop over to the Gantry 5 theme and we have to make sure that we're on the basis outline because the basis outline has the default settings for certain parts of the template. So if you, if you want to make sure you're on that, you go to outlines and you go down to basis outline there. And that's how you get that. And you go to page setup. And if you've done the installation correctly, you'll actually see fixed header there. Okay. Now, before we use this, we need to get the right code that we can put into the fixed header. So we need to go over to the Gantry demo site and we need to say, right, the navigation bar, we need the code name for this navigation bar. So what we'll do is we go to Firebug and we will highlight the navigation bar. And the navigation bar, as you can see, is called G-Navigation. So we need to take a copy of that code. So we'll take a copy of that and then we need to go into the back end. We need to drag the fixed header atom onto the active bar 
and then click on the cog to open up the settings screen and it says CSS selector where well, we know it's G navigation so we can insert that in there now you have to make sure that you use the hashtag if you don't use the hashtag it's not going to work so make sure you use the hashtag before the actual text that you paste in okay now you can do more with the settings there but I'm just happy with that at the moment so I'm just going to apply that okay so the actual code is in now so if we go back to the gantry demo site and we'll do a, a reload of that and we scroll down now there you go the navigation bar stays where it is it's fixed but everything else scrolls okay so that's how you use atoms which are pieces of code to manipulate your your template in your website um, do it, if you want to go over to inspire theme they have free atoms there that you can download you can experiment with and play around with so we hope this tutorial helps you to understand what a gantry particle atom is thanks